Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angel Love Tarot. Today I'm going to do a um, love reading for the sign of Cancer. This is going to be for the first half of January. Remember that this is a general reading. So if you need something more specific, my information is in the description box. I do um, phone readings and I also do recorded videos. And this will be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. You can also check out my other videos if you um, want to get messages for your other signs. I'm a Cancer myself, and I find sometimes I resonate strongly with my Moon sign, which my Moon sign is Leo. So um, feel free. And then lastly, if you like my videos, Please subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. That's how I get my feedback. And then also I'm doing the readings. I started doing them a little bit different for December and now for January. If you've watched my channel before, um, I do a pick a card reading or pick an angel reading. So I'm incorporating that in my monthly readings. So basically the first half of the reading will be the tarot portion. The second half will be the oracle card portion, okay? So with the oracle cards, there's three stacks, okay? Um, there's an angel on each stack. So stack number one, we have the baby angel. Stack number two, we have the feminine angel. And then stack three, we have the masculine angel, okay? So you can think about which stack you're drawn to, and those are going to be um, the messages for you. Um, I did this so you would have more um, personalized messages instead of, um, you know, the same for everybody on the Oracle cards. Okay, so think about that, and we'll get to those in a little bit. All right, let's get started. All right, please tell us what we need to know for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for first half of January in love. Please tell us what we need to know for Cancer in love for first half of January. Please tell us what we need to know. Please tell us what we need to know for Cancer. Oh, we got too many cards there. But, wow, first card out was two of cups. Okay, let's keep going. Tell us what we need to know for Cancer in Love. First half of January. Please tell us. Oh, got a flipper card here. All right. Second card out is Ace of Swords. Looking good so far. All right. Third card out is the Fool. All right, looking good so far, my Cancer friends. Okay, Two of Cups. So either somebody's in your life or you're going to meet somebody new, but this person is definitely um, going to be a soulmate connection, somebody you're strongly att attracted to, um, two peas in a pod, um, lovers, um, definitely strong connection here, and you both have a very emotional connection here okay you have a very strong um, bond between each other heartfelt bond okay all right second card is ace of swords so with this card um this is a new beginning so some of you this may be somebody new coming into your life okay if you're not with anybody or there's no one in your past that you're wanting to, um, you know, reconcile with. Um, for some of you, I feel this is somebody that's already in your life um, or maybe coming back into your life. I feel like there's going to be a new beginning. I feel that this connection and relationship, there's going to be a lot of honesty and truth. Um, and I feel like, um, you know, anything... From the past that has hindered this connection, whether it's outside people around you or um, it may just be 
um, some things that have happened in the past, past hurts or situations. I feel like all that is going to be cut aside. There'll be none of that left. It will just be honesty and truth. Um, and I feel like both of you will be authentic in this connection, okay? Because I do feel here um, you are this person. They definitely want to take a leap of faith in this connection. They want a new beginning. Um, you know, I feel, you know, this person realizes how strong the connection is and they're willing to take a risk. Um, this may be you. Remember that roles can be reversed um, here. So, you know, just beautiful, beautiful cards here. So definitely see the start of something new. Now, if you're already in a relationship, this may just be, um, you know, reconnecting on another level. Okay. Um, you know, coming to truth, um, working out issues, um, you know, from the past or in the present. Um, if it's you're not with anybody, then definitely I see somebody coming in for you. That's definitely a soulmate connection. Um, also feel, you know, this is divinely guided as well. Okay. All right. Please tell us what we need to know for Cancer in Love. First half of January. Please tell us what we need to know for Cancer. Whew. Too many cards there. Cancer and love. First half. Okay. Too many cards. First half of January. All right. We got two cards there or three cards here. Perfect. That's what we needed. All right. On top of the Two of Cups, we have the Ace of Cups. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Love coming in. Um, you know, I just feel like this is, this is what you've been waiting for, hoping for, wishing for, um, you know, whether it's someone from your past, someone you're currently with or new person, I just feel like, um, this is a new start, no matter what the situation, it's a new start, a brand new cup of love. Um, and I feel like, you know, this connection, this love is going to be a, a full cup of love. Okay. Here we have the Ace of Cups. I mean, I'm sorry, Ace of Swords. And then the Ten of Cups fell on top of it, okay? So again, coming together, coming together in union. Um, definitely feel this is a soulmate connection. Um, I feel like, you know, for a lot of you, this could lead to marriage. This could be your life partner. You may end up having children with this person. Um, but I feel like, you know, you've met or you're going to meet, um, your life partner here. Just beautiful. Okay. So the third card that came out is the fool, um, which we already talked about with a new beginning and we have the justice card. Okay. So, um, like I said, I feel like for some of you, this may not be somebody new, but I feel like you've gotten justice in the situation. So whatever um, has happened in the past or whatever has gone on, um, I feel like the truth came out um, and I feel like um, you've already healed through the situation. The par your partner or love interest, soulmate, you know, twin flame, whatever you want to identify with, I feel like whatever happened in the past, the truth came out, or in the present, um, the truth came out, and I feel like the two of you have really communicated, um, communicated about what you want, okay, emotionally, and, um, you know, as far as future plans, okay, so I feel like definitely there's justice in this situation, I feel like there could have been someone in the past who, um, felt like they were wronged in some way and they may have been wronged. But um, if this is you, Cancer, um, I feel like, you know, this is a whole new beginning. I feel like you've manifested a whole new beginning with this person, okay? Or you may be manifesting a whole new person coming in. 
to um, your life, okay? Wow, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cards so far. All right, let's pull a few more. And then we'll move on to the Oracle portion. All right. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Please tell us what we need to know for the first half of January. Okay. Please tell us what we need to know for the first half of January. Please tell us what we need to know for the first half. Too many cards. First half of January. That one wants to come out. Okay. All right. So the what came out was the death card. Okay, which fell on um, the Ace of Cups. So what I'm feeling here, like I said, I feel like for some of you, um, you know, there's going to be a couple scenarios. I feel like for some of you, um, a relationship ended in the past, and now um, there's a new cup of love coming in for you, a new person coming in for you. For some of you, I feel like the person that you have a connection with whether you're in separation or whether you're um, you're started to talk to that person recently, I feel like they've transformed. Um, I feel I had said in the beginning of the reading with the Ace of Swords, I feel like any of the um, past, um, you know, any of the past. I, I've been saying shenanigans. I don't know why the shenanigans. Any of the past hurts. Um, you know, past disappointments, I feel like that's coming to an end, okay? And I feel like this person has transformed or the relationship or the situation has transformed into a new beginning, okay? Um, the next card that came out is the Knight of Swords, okay? So um, I definitely feel that this person definitely... Um, just feels like they want to come rushing in, okay, to this connection. I feel like they they know they're holding that sword of truth, because I said here we have the Ace of Swords. They want to protect you. They want to, you know, protect you from any harm or from anything that other people might say. I feel here that they really want to make sure that this relationship um, is protected and I pray I mean I pray I do pray but I feel here that they really want to make sure that things go right in this connection okay because I do feel like they value you a lot okay so then the next card that came out with the justice card okay and um and the Fool card, like I said, new beginning here, and the Justice, and then we have the Hangman here, okay? So for some of you, I feel like um, they're going to be a little, there might be a little bit tied up, um, which could delay things a bit, um, but like I said, overall, I feel like you're going to have justice in the situation. For others of you, I feel that, um, you know, uh, they may have, they may have awakened because I said that I feel like they have transformed. They may have now realized <clears throat> um, how important this connection and this relationship is with you. And like I said, I feel very strongly that they only want to walk in truth with you and they want a new beginning. Okay. So I also feel like this is also an awareness um, of them realizing how important you are in their life. Okay. And, um, and you getting the justice and the balance that you need with this connection. Okay, beautiful, beautiful reading, Cancer. I'm going to move on to the Oracle portion now. So I'm going to start with stack three first, which is the Masculine Angel. So if you pick the Masculine Angel, this is your stack. Give me a couple moments just to lay out the cards okay 
So the first card that came out is heart to heart conversations. Hon honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. Okay. So like I said, I feel like there's going to be truth, communication, openness. I feel this person, um, I feel like every step of the way, um, they want to communicate to you how they feel, what they're going through, um, and they really want that open line of communication with you to make this connection work. Okay, the second card that came out was separation. Like I said, I feel like some of you um, may be in separation. Okay, and this person may be coming back into your life. Third card that came out um, is you have known each other before, past life relationship. Yep, that's what I said. I feel, you know, definitely this is a soulmate connection. So either somebody that's already in your life, someone from your past coming back, but definitely um, someone from a past life. Okay. All right. And then the... Next two cards that I pulled were from the Angel Answer deck. The first one is listen to your intuition. Okay, so this is your angels just telling you to listen to your intuition through the process. Um, let your intuition guide you. Um, there may be times where you're feeling unsure. Um, you know, for those of you where this is a past person or somebody who may have hurt you in the past, um, and you're feeling a little uneasy. Um, some of you may even be feeling like you don't even know if you want a new start with this person. <clears throat> like I said, I feel like some of you, um, there'll be justice in the situation. So some of you, you know, may be wanting an apology. Um, but this is just your angels just saying, listen to your inner guidance. Um, listen to um, what you feel is right for you, okay, no matter what in the situation. All right, and the second card out that's beautiful is Big Happy Changes, and definitely I see in this reading, this is a new start, new beginning, whether you have a new love coming in or you have um, someone from your past coming in, okay? I mean, someone from your past or new love, um, but I, this is your angel saying that these changes are going to be very happy for you, okay? And the pause and the cards show that they're they're very positive cards. All right, then I pulled the Lovers Oracle cards, and this card says surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go, and all will work out. So, like I said, yeah, I feel like a lot of you. You may be letting go past relationships and a new person may be coming in. Um, but for some of you, letting go of the old may not be letting go of the person, but it may be letting go of the situation or letting go of the hurt by forgiving. Um, so take that message how it resonates with you. But surrender. Let things play out. Um, go with the flow. Um, try not to worry and just know everything will work out for your highest good, okay? All right, and then the last card that I pulled was from um, Archangel Michael. So I asked Archangel Michael, what message do you have? All right, so the message that came out is this is your life's purpose. Okay. Here we go. Archangel Michael has heard your prayers and he's guiding you in the direction in which you were born to go. You already have ideas about a career that would bring you joy, excitement, opportunities to help, and financial security. And these thoughts are indicators of your divine purpose. You're meant to be engaged in work that brings you and others happiness. Okay? So this card is validation that the career you're dreaming about is your life's purpose. As such, the universe will support and open doors for you. Move forward confidently. <clears throat> and if you want to say the prayer with me, it goes, Archangel Michael, do you know the details of my divine life purpose? And I ask you to help me be aligned with my goals. Please clarify 
I'm sorry, please clearly guide my actions so that I am taking the best steps to fully manifest my wonderful and meaningful career. All right, beautiful, beautiful message there. I'm going to move on to stack number two, which was the feminine angel. Okay, let's move these out of the way. Okay. All right, so the first card that came out is your love life benefits as you forgive your parents' healing family issues. Okay, so, you know, um, some of you may have a situation where family got involved in this connection or this relationship. And, um, you know, I like I said, this might be where justice prevails, um, where things are going to work out. For some of you, this just could be um, where, you know, there were, there were things that happened in your childhood that are affecting your relationships now. And as you're proceeding, um, with this connection, you're realizing how those things affected, have affected you and affected you in terms of, um, your relationships. Okay. So I feel through this connection with this person, there's a lot of communication going to happen, and I feel like there's going to be a lot of a lot of healing as well. Okay, so the next card is open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It is safe for you to love. Okay, so like I said, some of you may, um, your heart may be a little closed right now, or... Um, feeling like, um, you know, you have a fear of loving again, um, from past hurts, but, you know, like I said, I feel like this is a new beginning. You're going to be taking that leap of faith, okay, for this new beginning. So it's okay. You know, you can open your heart, um, and it's safe to do that. Okay, the next card Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now, so very soon. So yes, definitely um, this connection, things are going to start to progress very soon. I then pulled um, uh, the Angel Answer deck. I pulled two cards, and it's funny. We have um, helpful people and ask for help from others. Okay, so... I know sometimes as a cancer, like I am, you know, we're the crab and sometimes we just want to cur curl up and just go back, go under a rock and hide and we don't want to ask anybody for help, okay? So this is your angels telling you, don't be afraid to ask for help. You can, you know, ask for help from your angels or your higher power, whatever you believe in. Um, and also, you know, you can ask for help from your friends. And this helpful people card, I always feel it's not just about your friends or your inner circle. It's also about your angels sending helpful people in your life to help you out when it's unexpected. And this can be complete strangers. And you'll know when it happens because it's just the best feeling. And you walk away and you say, wow, I know. I know that was my angels sent that person to me today because I knew they knew that I needed to be cheered up. Okay. So, next card, <coughs> excuse me, is the Lover's Oracle card. This card says, emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Okay, yeah. And that kind of ties back to, it's safe for you to love, okay? When we can let go of resentment um, and hurt and forgive, that helps us to open our heart to love again, okay? All right, the next card that I pulled, which is the last card, um, is from Archangel Michael um, and what guidance he has for you. And the card that came out is new beginnings and a fresh start. And that's exactly what I was saying. 
we have a new beginning coming and a fresh start. So this is this card is dead on here. So let's go. As one chapter of your life closes, another one is beginning to bloom. Right now, you may only notice the first inklings of new growth in your life. So Archangel Michael sends this card to encourage you to keep going. There's great goodness in store for you. Stay filled with faith and keep a positive outlook. And if you want to say the prayer with me, it goes, Thank you for bringing new opportunities and offering support and for helping me release and heal my past. Fill me with trust as I experience these life changes. All right, beautiful, beautiful message. Very on point with your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate it. And now I'm going to move on to the baby angel. Move that out of the way. Pull out the cards. Okay. So the first cards that I pulled out um, was the, um, I'm sorry, I just went blank for a moment, <laughs> the Romance Angel cards. Okay, I feel like messages are already coming through. So you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully attraction. So I always say this is stop and smell the roses card. Take your time, live in the moment. Don't think too much about the future or the past. Let things fall into place, okay? Um, so just knowing that all is going to be well and everything's going to work out for your highest good, okay? All right, so the second card that came out um, is someone is wearing a false, a, false, a false self mask in this relationship, okay? So I feel here this card is saying that there was some deceptive behavior in the past because right in the beginning, the Ace of Swords came out and I explained to everyone that um, I felt like this is, you know, a new start, okay, a new beginning where there's only truth and anything from the past that was dark, deceptive, Whatever the case may be, it is being cut aside, okay? So I feel like some of you may have ex experienced some deception. Some of you may choose not to reunite with someone from the past, and this new love may be coming in. Um, but some of you may, um, you know, some of you may be you know, working through um, the past deception. And like I said, with the Ace of Swords um, and the Fool card, I feel like there is a new start. And I feel like this person, even though they may have been deceptive in the past, they do want to make the effort with you. I feel like they do want to make things right. Um, and they do want a new start with you, okay? Because we have made the effort here. Okay, and then the next two cards that came out are the Angel Answer cards. So the first card that came out, you know, I'm seeing just truth written all over this reading. Um, we have Reconsider. I really feel you just want truth in the matter. I feel like you're reconsidering your options. Like I said, some of you may not accept this person from the past. Um, some of you will. Um, but I feel like it's only going to be in truth, okay? Which I feel strongly that this new start for a relationship for those of you who um, may have had someone from the past, I feel like there is um, going to be truth and clarity in this new beginning, okay? So, um, you know, take this message how it resonate, resonates, um, but some of you may reconsider your options here. All right, and then we have peaceful resolution. So I feel like no matter what happens, this is your angel saying that it's going to come out peaceful, okay? You're going to feel good inside. I feel like you're going to feel like you got the healing that you needed. Um, you know, I feel like you're just going to have this inner peace, all right? 
whatever this new beginning is, beginning is, whether it's someone from the past or a new love coming in, the outcome is going to be peaceful, okay? All right, then I pulled the Lover's Oracle card, and um, it says, look inside yourself, examine what is causing you to feel this way, okay? All right, and that might be about, you know, this reconsider card, you know, um, listening to your intuition and why you're feeling this way. Why are you having doubts? You may be having fears, okay? So this is an inner reflection card. All right. And then I pulled last card, which is going to be Guidance from Archangel Michael. And wow, it's just like we got the look inside yourself and now we have write about your thoughts and feelings, okay? Which is another, you know, self-reflection card okay so some of you may need some inner work let's see what this says okay this card indicates that you're confused by conflicted feelings and are unsure of which direction to go exactly that's what we were saying archangel michael will help you delve into your emotions peeling away the layers in order to reach your inner core of truth he guides you to write down everything you're thinking and feeling without editing or censoring your words Keeping a private journal will enable you to gain insights into the nature of what you genuinely desire. This clarity will illuminate the steps you need to take next. And if you want to say the prayer with me, it says, Thank you for helping me tap into my God-given creativity and wisdom so I can clearly express myself and glean insight, blessing, and healing. All right, beautiful card there, right on point. I feel overall um, this was a really good read for you, Cancer. I feel like new love is coming, whether it's a new person or whether it's somebody in your life, there's a new start. So beautiful, beautiful reading. Um, I'm excited, first half of January for you. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate it, and I'm sending you angel love.